Today we are learning about money, 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 money. Yes, we are learning about coins and notes. Let's get started. The first one we are going to discuss are coins. We all know what coins are, I bet, because we all get pocket money sometimes and we all get some pocket money to go buy the tuck shop at school, don't we? So let's have a closer look at, at our South African coins. The first coin we are looking at is a five cent coin. The color of a five cent coin is bronze. It's like a shiny brown. A five cent coin is written like this, five cents. The bird on a five cent coin is called a blue crane. A blue crane looks like this and it's our national bird. The next one we're looking at is a ten cent coin. A ten cent coin is in real life much smaller than a five cent coin. The color is gold but not real gold, and it's written like this, 10 cents, if you had to write it as a number name. The flower on it is called an arum lily. It is a beautiful white flower with a yellow center. You might have seen it in your garden, or in the park, or maybe even at school. The next coin is a 20 cents coin. A 20 cent coin is much bigger than a 10 cent coin, a little bit smaller than a 5 cent coin. It is also gold, and the number name is written like this, 20 cents. The flower on a 20 cents is called a protea. It is our national flower, and Mrs. Mitchell's favorite. Look at the beautiful flower. It has got pink, yellowish colors, and a beautiful center. The next one we're looking at is a 50 cent coin. This one is also gold and it is much bigger than a 20 cent coin. It is written like this as a number name, 50 cents. And it is called, and on it, it has a flower called the Strelizia. And it looks like this. We can also find them in a garden and I know we have them at school. They're very beautiful with their orange flower sticking. The next coin we're looking at is the one rand coin. The one rand coin's color is silver. The one rand coin is smaller than the other silver coins we're going to look at. We write the number name like this, one rand, and the number for number name is one rand. The animal you see on the one rand coin is called a springbuck. The springbuck is our national uh, buck and in real life it looks like this. The next coin we're looking at is a two rand coin. A two rand coin is slightly bigger than a one rand coin. It's also silver and we write it like this, two rand and the number two rand. The animal you see on it is it called a kudu. A kudu is a much Big, bigger buck than the spring buck. The next one is a five rand coin. The five rand coin is the biggest coin out of all the silver coins and even the other colored coins and is also the most value. The five rand coin is two colors, gold and silver. And it is written like this. Five rand and five rand. The animal on it is called the black wildebeest and it looks like this. It is a very big animal. If you look at a coin, so Mrs. Mitchell used a five rand coin but all coins have this at the back. It is the back of the coin. So let's look at the date. The yellow arrow is pointing to 2008. That means it's the year the money was made. So this coin we're looking at was made in 2008. It's a very old coin. The next thing we're looking at where the green arrow is pointing to is the uh, middle of the coin. That is our 
national symbol. It is called the coat of arms of South Africa. The next one we're looking at is the sides of the coin. Okay, so we all know South Africa has 11 official languages. Now, every two years, they print a new language on two new languages at the back of the coin. So at the moment, it is South Africa and Africa Boa. Okay, so in two years' time, they're going to print another language, two languages on it. So every two years, they change the language at the back of the coin. I found that very interesting. Notes. Now we're talking about big money. Okay, let's have a look at notes. Okay, so let's look at our first note. Our first note is the 10 Rand note. The color of it is green. We write it 10 Rand or the money one for the number name. For the number is 10 Rand. On our left, we have the 10 Rand with the rhino rhinoceros on it. The rhinoceros is part of the big five and each banknote represents one of our big five. And recently they have changed some of our banknotes to have Nelson Mandela on it because he is an iconic symbol in South Africa. The next one we're looking at is the 20 Rand note. We write it as follow 20 Rand or 20 Rand with the number. The color of a 20 Rand banknote is brown. On the left, the 20 Rand has an elephant on it, which is part of our big five. And the one on our right, as I mentioned before, has got Nelson Mandela on it. He represents in all the bank, all the new banknotes. The next one we're looking at is the 50 Rand note. And we write it as follows, 50 Rand or the number 50 Rand. It is a reddish color, reddish pink color. And it has the big five animal, the lion on it, as you can see on the left. And then again, on the newer notes, we've got Nelson Mandela. The 100 Rand note is blue. And I know we all want one of these. We write it as follows, 100 Rand, if it is in the number name, and this number is 100 Rand. The animal represented on the 100 Rand note is the buffalo. The buffalo is also part of the big five, and it is a very big animal. And then we also have Nelson Mandela again. The last banknote we're looking at is our 200 Rand note. This is the biggest banknote we have, the biggest value banknote. The smallest value we have is 10 Rand, is a 10 Rand note, and the biggest one is a 200 Rand note. This is an orange color, an orange goldish color. We write it as follows, 200 Rand, or the number 200. Now, if you look at the animal, it is a leopard that is represented on the note. And then again, it, uh, on the newer notes, it is Nelson Mandela. Now, let's count some money. Let's see how much money goes into each other. Let's have a look. How many one rands and a ten rand? Do you know? I have no idea. But let's find out. We are going to count 1 Rand coins till we get to 10 Rand. Let's see. Count with Mrs. Mitchell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 1 Rands and a 10 Rand note. How many 2 Rands and a 10 Rand note? Let's go. Let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There are five two rands and a ten rand note. 
How many five rands in a ten rand note? Let's have a look. Let's count to five. Five, ten. Let's count the number of coins. One, two. There are two five rand coins in a ten rand note. Okay. Each stack of coins have ten one rand coins in each. We are going to add them together to get to the 20 rand note to see how much we'll need. Let, let's add the stacks. 10 coins plus 10 coins equals 20 rand. So there are 10 1 rand in each stack. So that means there's 10 rand plus 10 rand equals 20 rand. So 20 coins make 20 rand. That means 10 rand plus 10 rand equals 20 rand. So two notes give me 20 rand. Each stack of coins have 10 1 rands in it. Let's go. Let's count in 10s. 10 rand plus 10 rand plus 10 rand plus 10 rand plus 10 rand. Plus 10 rand. That's 5. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 coins make 50 rand. Now let's see if we can make 100 rand. Let's count the, ten st the stacks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many coins do I have all together? Let's quickly count them. Go to the first one. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That means we have 100 coins in front of us, making it 100 rand. Remember, each coin is 1 rand. That, make, that makes each stack 10 rand. I'll do it one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Makes 100 rand. Amazing. Okay, let's see if you can do this. Can you figure out how much you will need? How many 1 rand coins in a 10 rand note? See if you can draw your stacks. To get to a 10 rand note with 1 rand. How many 5 rand in a 50 rand note? So how many 5 rand do I need to make 50 rand? See if you can do it. How many 2 rand coins in a 10 rand note? Can you make up a stack of 2 rand and see how many you need to make 10 rand? The last one. How many 10 rand notes? In a hundred rand. Let's see if you can figure out how many ten rands you need to make one hundred rand. So what you do is pause the video, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and see if you can work out the answers. Enjoy!